Hey YouTube and welcome to another Raspberry Pi 2 outing. Today we're going to be installing Windows 10. Yes, Windows 10 on the Raspberry Pi 2. Except it's not the Windows 10 that we all kind of expect. It's a highly cut down, very restrictive version which is only command line and it's only the core kernel really. It's highly restricted. But it's still Windows 10 and it's still very exciting but it is the preview edition so it is still work in progress but in today's video we're going to go through the installation and a few things that we can do with it so let's see how it's done so the first thing you need to do is use a tool called SD Formatter and just wipe your micro SD just to make sure there's no hidden partitions this uh, ensures a nice clean uh, SD card <clears throat> So see there we've got a nice 64 gig card there that we can use. We'll be using this as well for the next few videos. Next, bring up an internet browser um, and then search for Windows 10 Internet of Things Raspberry Pi. And what you want to do is select the second option. So hit uh, get started now and then you need to select your device, we obviously will be using a Raspberry Pi 2 and then you need to go to start now. Now it is important that you use um, a class 10 card and the reason for that is its performance. So we've got that here so no issues there. So once you've done that then go to download. Um, you will need to log in with your account, uh, your uh, you know your Hotmail uh, account. So do that here. And then download the image. Now it's quite a big one. It's about half a gig. So it will take a while. Um, so I suggest you choose a location that's close to you. So we're in Europe. And then hit download. So on that conveniently brings down a nice little zip file so there it is there and the file we're interested in is the flash FFU so that's Microsoft's version of a, a disk image or an IMG file as we used to write out on the on the uh, Debian builds so we're just going to dump that on the desktop just so we know where it is so just open that up there and what we're going to do is we'll just create a folder on the C drive because um, we're going to be using a lot of command line tools and it's easier um, just to browse to a, a shorter folder so we just create one called pi2 you can call it whatever you like so we're just dumping that in there and let that copy across it's actually nice and quick on this um, Surface Pro as well. That's not speeded up, by the way. I think you just love SSDs. Anyway, if you actually try to run it under Windows 8, um, then you get that error message um, that it's not recognized. And we need to actually write this image on Windows 10. And that means that you've got to build an entire Windows 10 machine just to write the image. So thank you very much, Microsoft, for that inconvenience. So what we're going to do is you need to download a Windows 10 ISO. Um, you can Google that. And then you burn that by using this tool here, the Windows USB DVD download tool. So find that under Google and then if you click on the link there and then hit download and then just run it. it's a very very small program very quick to run through uh, I've already got it installed so I've managed to say in repair but um, obviously for you it would be different so there's the Windows 10 ISO sitting on the desktop so we'll just launch the app There, you need to browse to wherever your ISO file is. So I've got it on the desktop because it's nice and easy. So I'll scroll down, there it is. And then hit next, 
choose a USB, so um, you put another pen in. Uh, I've just chosen a little 8 gig one here just for dumping the ISO onto. And then uh, hit begin copying and let that um, burn out. And voila, all done. So what you need to do now is actually put that into another PC. You can't use a VM because you haven't got access to the USB ports. So you need to actually build this on an old crappy PC somewhere just to get it built. So pop the uh, so once you once you built it all, pop the uh, USB pen in the um, Windows 10 box. As you can see there, that's the file we're after. So the flash FFU. So yet again, create a folder on the C drive. Uh, something nice and simple that you can uh, browse to on command line. So let's just bring that up. So go over to his pen and drag that across. I'm just using an old seller on PC here that I had um, sitting around in the loft not doing anything. So um, it actually seems to work really, really well. I was quite surprised actually at the uh, Windows 10's performance. So once that's done, what you need to do then is um, just bring up the start menu, which is actually a proper start menu now back in Windows 10. Bring up the command prompt and run that as an administrator. So what you do is you right click on that to get that little menu there. Then type in WMIC disk drive list brief. Now this is a bit like the uh, Raspbian version of FDisk. Um, so what we're after is actually the physical name of the SD card. Um, so in this particular case it's physical drive 4. So this is how we identify the drive when we're going to write the image. So next you need to browse to the folder where you copied the flash file. So in there it's pi. And then once you've done that then type in dism.exe forward slash apply dash image space forward slash image file colon flash dot ffu space forward slash apply drive another colon and then you want to enter the uh, location so slash slash dot slash physical drive 4 and then forward slash skip platform check and then that writes out just like any other tool does now we'll speed this up because it takes a while and come on speed up Whee, there you go So, and that's the image created, so you actually don't need the Windows 10 machine anymore after that. You can trash it, throw it in the bin, do what you like with it, but because we can connect to the Pi using either web interface or using Windows 8 PowerShell. So we'll just have a quick look to see actually what's been written on here. Um, so we've got, uh, there's the kernel file, so we've got Windows 4, oh look, System32. Okay, uh, boot. There's nothing of interest in that, and we've got a text config file. So, okay, I'll explore those settings in detail in other videos. <clears throat> right. So, simply take this out now, and go pop it in a pie, and off we go. So, the first initial boot of Windows 10 is quite slow, to be honest, uh, and you do get a lot of black screens and not a lot of progress. But it is working away. Be patient with it; it does get there eventually. And even the loading screen is corrupt. I mean, the, the main bug straight in your face. I mean, that's quite funny. But as they say, it is working progress, so we expect these things. 
and we get a nice little Internet of Things logo, I believe. A little mosaic colours. It's like a little game of Tetris, almost. So here we go. So we've got his name, Minwin PC, and we've also got an IP address. So that's good. I've actually connected this through a wire. Um, so we'll try and get it working on the wireless. And there we go. We are done. So there's the name, the Ethernet connection, and the IP address. Uh, Windows 10 Core Inside Preview. So what? Uh, we need to do now is just go down to these settings and what we've got here we've got the language um, I actually didn't allow me to change it, I don't know if I was quite clicking it correctly um, but and also the time zone there needs to be adjusted as well uh, for, well, for wherever you are I'm going to change it to London so when we go over to the network and Wi-Fi um, it does seem to have the code in there for Wi-Fi but uh, obviously we're connected here through Ethernet so let's actually try the little dongles that we have um, to see if that actually detects so let's just plug that in so these are those little USB dongles that I've shown in previous videos. So the one that's pretty much standard on a Pi, um, and a, a pretty much a guarantee that most Pi people would have purchased these little USB dongles. Um, so let's see if it works. We just oh, we're going through a reboot, and yep, and surprise, surprise, it's not working. Right, okay, so let's try the other dongle that we have. So this is the when I did my wireless showdown video. Um this the the large dongle is what we're testing here. And that didn't work either. So let's just ping um the Pi just to check it's on the network, which it is. So we just test the web interface. So we just go to minwinpc.local and there we have a web interface now that's pretty cool okay so what we've got is we've got installed apps we've got running apps um, so we can install certificates so we can even we could turn this into a web server actually so we've got all our processes that are running there look service host.exe that just seems so bizarre seeing that on a pi knowing full well that it's a windows file but anyway so this is just um, performance, it's a bit like task manager um, so that's actually pretty smooth there So, and as we can see our CPU is hardly been touched so debugging, so to be honest it's a little too technical for me, I probably wouldn't even go into there I just like the look of that, that's so cool oh it's all quiet now Right, so we've got tracing here. So this will be for um, performance. And we've also got a device manager. Now, interestingly, I've got a USB pen plugged into this, and it's not showing under the volume manager, which is uh, interesting. So I'll have a look at that. Um, Miracast, I think that's my capturing device it's actually picked up there. Uh, so, yep, surprise, surprise, the Wi-Fi adapters are not showing here either. So, that's, um, I'll have to look into trying to uh, get the drivers loaded and um, actually get that working, because surely the whole point is that people just plug Wi-Fi dongles in and off they trot. You shouldn't have to plug network cards in, sorry, uh, network cables in. So, I'm trying to refresh it there. It's saying that it's retrieved a list of wireless network adapters but it hasn't so it's telling us that we've done it so let's just swap that around it doesn't seem to be picking anything up at all no it's a driver issue right we'll have to have a look at that hmm 
No, it's not happy. And there's no profiles, nothing works. Okay. It's still not happy. Right, so that's pretty much uh, the end of the video. I'm just going to do a quick shutdown. Um, and see if that, it's frozen. I can't do anything now. So I think that has actually shut down. So let's just test that. So we'll just quickly ping the IP address again. And there we have it is dead. So there we have it, Windows 10, the Internet of Things running on the Pi. So please do subscribe. I've got lots of videos coming up over the next um, couple of weeks covering all the wonderful things that this um, brand new operating system, well, it's brand new to the Pi, can do. Um, please do give me a thumbs up. It, it all helps. And um, feel free to leave me a comment or any questions. I do try to reply when I can. And thanks for watching.